हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज जगन्नाथ वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सीएनसी गुरु टैक्स सेंटर टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट पॉकेट मिलिंग साइकिल और सर्कुलर पॉकेट मिलिंग साइकिल इन शॉप मिलिंग सीरीज एज वी रिसेंटली स्टार्टेड अबाउट शॉप मिलिंग और शॉप टर्निंग सीरीज सो इन दिस शॉप मिलिंग सीरीज द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन और नेक्स्ट प्रोफाइल इज दैट दैट इज अ सर्कुलर पॉकेट मिलिंग साइकिल इन लास्ट वीडियो वी सीन अबाउट स्क्वेयर पॉकेट and we learn many things about the square pocket but in this videos we will learn about circular pocket milling as you know in fanuk there is no such a type of milling cycle there is no such a type of milling cycle in fanuk as they are using just g97 m97 m98 and m99 as a sub programming methodology and on the basis of that only they are creating this circular pocket milling or interpolation cycles in has they have their own separate cycles that is g12 and g13 they are using that cycle and on the basis of that cycle they are creating that is also a good cycle but point is that we need to create that cycle we need to give input in that cycle yeah and next option is that about mitsubishi in mitsubishi also they recently started this option and that option says that g02.1 and g03.1 are the circular pocket milling cycles but in our siemens programming there is no such a type of the limitations in siemens programming this was the ended option for circular pocket milling if you will see about 82 uh, 82 8d and 8, 840ds are the recent options there is the very advanced type of options are there available and next thing is that we will see this easily but in past controllers also such type of option was there so rather than spending this more time on the past and present i will directly start to our topic and before going to our topic i wanted to request to that if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe to my channel so if you will subscribe to my channel i will get motivation on the basis of that motivation i will direct i will uh, try to create more videos for your information and i will try to give you more solutions next thing is that if you have any queries on this topic you can uh, you can also ask me in comment box on the base uh, i will check your comment box and i will try to give solution online for that your queries now now we are going to our topic so as we seen in our last topic or uh, last series we seen that how to create a square pocket and that was like a very interesting subject for us so that was uh, we seen about that and that was like a very important for topic for us also so now we will check we will see about circular pocket milling circular pocket milling so when this is my 828 and 840 dsl controller in front of me so we will check how, what is the header and what is the footer we, i will not spend more time to explaining this again and again that's why so if uh, possible you go to description box and you check how to create header and footer and how to give header and footer dimension header and footer inputs to my cycle in shop mill and how to create a new shop mill program that to check in our uh, uh, description box then you will get some more information regarding that i will directly go to circular pocket milling so this is my job and this is a 100 by 100 work piece so you can see easily now i wanted to open my cycle so circular pocket milling is a sub option or uh sub uh, sub program of a sub option of the milling cycle not sub program sub option of the milling cycle or sub option of the milling operation so i will just press milling operation in this milling operation there are like many options are there like face milling pocket multi edge pivot etc etc so our intention is that to create a circular pocket a circular pocket is obviously we will get in pocket option that is a vertical soft key option number second so i will just press this option in this option again two options are there one is a rectangular pocket and another is a circular pocket so we already seen about rectangular pocket and square pocket and how to create that cycle so you just go to the description box you will get more information regarding the same now i will go to circular pocket this is my circular pocket so this is the if i will press this circular pocket option this type of window will appear in front of me so i need to give input to this window and this way we will create the cycle so we will check one by one first of all this is a complete we should keep it complete as it is second option is that so many people are asking why complete and what is the difference between complete and simple if i will put simple there will be less of the options will available for the simple cycle cycle and if you will press this complete option all advanced options will be available in front of me 
so i will press the select button and i will select the complete or simple option second number is that tool which tool we need to select so first of all we need to select a tool so for selecting that tool i need to press this select tool so if you will press select tool there are many tools option your tool box or your tool offset page will open in front of you you need to select a milling cutter so this is my i wanted to select a 10 mm milling cutter that is okay for me so before selecting this milling cutter we need to uh, confirm that that milling cutter has their own tool offset so we should take our tool offset before taking the tool in our program so that is a common sense as we are CNC practitioners so always use tool which use the tool that tool must have tool offset option then i will say okay then next option is that f f means feed how much feed i want i want 1000 mm per minute whatever your material condition what is your tooling condition on the basis of that you can uh, give your cutting tool uh, cutting parameter so on the basis of this cutting parameter you can give whatever you wanted to give s is rpm i wanted to give 2000 rpm this is just i am giving for the demo purpose so don't uh, take this seriously uh, think about the cycle don't think about the parameters and all always we should be very serious about the strategies of programming next is the machining machining means if i will press one time i will press this is a three uh, 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 triangle will appear by default one triangle will be there this is the one triangle by default one triangle will be there but what is the difference of one triangle three triangle i will show you first thing is that if i will select one triangle that is meaning is that we are selecting roughing option so my depth is let's say 10 mm depth so my tool will create that 10 mm depth by uh, using depth of cut and by using the depth of cut my tool will go up to the 10 mm depth and this way my cycle will get create or my program will get create second option is that finishing finishing means this is the option there we are directly my tool will jump to the final stage so always finishing is used for finishing only three triangle means finishing then three triangle wall that is a wall finishing option and chamfer so my many students are asking the question to me what is the difference between just finishing and wall finishing in just finishing option in this three, three triangle options my tool will move first of all my tool will complete the wall operation and then my tool will create complete this base operation so this is the option in wall my tool will complete only wall finishing operation so we should be very careful here we should select perfect option otherwise my tool will dash and you will be in a very big trouble so be careful here fourth option is a chamfer so i will create a separate video for chamfer how to use chamfering tool how to give parameters etc etc so we, should, we will not think more about this chamfer option right now so i will select this roughing option exactly second number second number is that how we are giving our input to this cycle how my tool path will get created this is also very interesting topic here many people don't have this option even in farouk in haas anywhere you go they don't have this type of option see centric and helical they, everybody you will get centric option means my tool will plunge and my tool will start to generate a tool path along this x and y axis and my tool will create a circular pocket everywhere you will think about the haas farouk mitsubishi whatever but if you wanted to create helical tool path this type of tool path helical tool path means this is a helical type of tool path dc my tool will gradually take depth of cut and gradually my tool will uh, take uh, so step over also so that gradually working of the tool will save you a lot of cycle time this is a very good advantage in this helical cycle if you are using cam then this type this option will directly come in front of you and many people are using com so they know about this but in any cycle such type of operation is not such type of option is not at all available if i am wrong you can give me uh, uh, evidences in comment box i will check it but as per my knowledge helical option is available in only siemens so we should be very careful here yeah so second option is this is a helical or centric centric means my tool will plunge and then my tool will do another things so i will select a helical option is the always best option to use second yeah main, main, main important thing is that for helical also we should use the proper uh, systematic tooling so always we should think about that single position i wanted to create only one uh, circle or one uh, 
circle in my pocket, circular pocket. So I will select single position. If I will select multi positions, if I will press this position pattern, number of uh, circular pocket I can create in that my workpiece. So first of all, I will check about this single position only. Then option is that x0, y0, z0. My blank size is a 100 by 100. So I will give you x0 is 50. Y0 is 50. So you are thinking why he is giving 50 50. The reason is that I will show you in graphic view. If I will press the graphic view option, see my circular pocket is getting created at the exactly center of my workpiece. If I will give here 0, comma 0, so my circular pocket will get generated or create at the corner of my pocket. So we should be very careful at the time of selecting this option. This is a very important option and very very useful also. This is 50 by 50 uh, and this is there is no any type of design need. If I will give 10, 10, 25, 25, then also this option will get appear in front of you. So just for checking purpose, I am giving this 50, 50. Z0 is 0. I am starting from 0. That is okay. Yeah. What should be the diameter of my circular pocket? What should be diameter? If I will press again graphic view, this type of animation will, will appear in front of me. So what should be the diameter of my circular pocket? My circular pocket dimension should be like 50 mm. So I will give 50 mm. Whatever wanted to give, you can give here. Exactly. This is a 50 mm diameter. Fine. Z1 is the total depth of my circular pocket. I am giving here. 15 mm so i will give 15 if you will give your incrementally 15 option then you need to give positive 15 if you wanted to give absolutely you need to select select button you need to press select button and then give minus 15 option here then you can give this type of the total depth that is minus 15 mm up to minus 15 mm i wanted to create circular pocket that's it dxy dxy means that is a step over so always i say as i said it should be like 70 to 80 percent for roughing. So I am just giving 70 percent of uh, step over or tool engagement. That is more than sufficient and okay. It will create our, it will definitely save our cycle time also. P. Now this, what is this P? This P means pitch of my helix. Pitch of my helix. If I will select a central option, this pitch option will get disappear. If I will select helical option, this pitch option will get appear. Exactly. So this pitch is a like it's a depth of cut, you can say. So you can give here 1 mm, 2 mm, that is C. You can this way my tool will take next depth of cut and my tool will save a lot of cycle time and smooth milling also. So this is the like uh, you can say this is the pitch of my helix. Yeah. Next option is the UXY. If I wanted to uh, do finishing option after finishing operation after this cycle, I can uh, do finishing. So if you wanted to give any type of the finishing allowance, you can give your finishing allowance, X, Y, Z allowance. If you wanted to give, give it. Otherwise, no worries. The next option is that removal of machining. That is a complete machining or remaining machining, remachining. So if you have any type of the blank inside that, I will give you the uh, detailed information about that. So in with this video, we will not think about this. So in this video, we will think just about the complete machining. I just wanted to complete this all whole. Means I just wanted to create a simple plain circular pocket. If you wanted to give the extra option, we will definitely see on for that extra option. So this is the helix and helical milling. So I will just select accept button. Yeah. And after selecting accept, I will just press to simulation. You will see how it will look. See how it is creating to that cycle. See, sometimes it is creating like it, it is looking like it is creating some different type of the option. So I will tell you what is happening here. Thing is that, see, this is my 100 by 100 workpiece. There is no any type of option is there, correct? Now, see, pitch is 1 mm, pitch is 1 mm, fine, fine. Now, if you will select a central option, centric option. In this centric option, you need to give the insertion strategy to my tool 
if you wanted to give vertical as i told you yesterday in vertical uh, strategy you need to uh, just uh, generate a pre hole and in that pre hole that pre hole should be like its diameter should be more than your uh, diameter of your milling cutter and there and then only you can use this vertical option second option is helical option if you are using helical option again you need to give here pitch means x and z axis of this option so simply i am just not using this both of option i am just simply using this helical option so many students may be asking why he is using only helical so that is the reason of that so i will again go to simulation and we just check how it looks this way my circular pocketing cycle is going on my workpiece size was 15 mm uh, 10 mm thickness and i i give one here 15 mm so if you wanted to, this is a like a through hole pocketing if you wanted to do blind hole pocketing you need to give here another option so i will give here again minus 20 see how differently we can create this cycle that just i am trying to tell you this is very very important many times we can use blind uh, uh, circular pocket also sometimes we need to use full circular pocket also so this this time we are using blind circular pocket so how it is working so in this way we learn about the circular pocket milling cycle if you uh, have any further questions on the same topic you can ask me in comment box and uh, if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe to my channel so i will get motivation from you and i will definitely try to give you more solution on the same so this way my cycle is working so how it is working just check it so this is my maybe my final pass is going on and after this final pass we will go to our solution that will be our 50 by 50 mm diameter of our workpiece see how beautifully it is working this is just a simulation on machine you will see different type of the or uh, as a exact working of the my tool so this is the total typical roughing operation and after this my tool went to his home position if you wanted to give so finishing option also you can give finishing operation also just select it copy it and then paste it after this option is same just you need to be select here roughing instead of finishing option or you can select wall finish option so in this way we can see how it will appear and how we can do helical machining in our helical circular pocketing in our cnc milling in siemens shop milling cycle or program okay thank you thanks a lot hope you like it